Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So in this first lecture, we are going to speak about what is the hardware of loading on layer 3, or what sometimes also it's called IP switching, and uh, what is its main function on the Microtech router OS and how we can profit from it in order to reduce the resources on the Microtech router OS. So all those explanations, including also on which hardware we can make the layer 3 hardware of loading, that's something I'm going to cover it in this lecture. Let's go directly to the explanation. So what is layer 3 hardware offloading? Normally, in the normal situation where we don't have uh, or we didn't have the layer 3 hardware offloading, this is something we used to call it the software-based routing, meaning that all traffic which needed to do the routing has to pass through the CPU. So every packet coming to the Microtech router OS has to be passing through the CPU and it has to be processed in order to be sent to the right routing. And that's uh, what makes the CPU on the Microtech router OS very, very high. So imagine you have uh, a traffic of 10 uh, gigabit per second, like big ISPs, that every packet has to pass through the CPU of the router and it has to be processed and then it has to be sent. So this happens to every IP packets and that makes the CPU on the Microtech router as very high. That's why most of people working in uh, ISPs, they have problems with the Microtech when it comes to the routing because when they have a lot of traffic, they always see that uh, they have a very high CPU and that uh, makes them thinking about how hey, maybe we can change it to another brand which has a bigger CPU or whatever. That's why it's uh, very important that to know that there is a solution now which is the layer 3 hardware offloading starting the version 7 on the Microtech router OS which you can uh, use it to reduce the CPU usage on your Microtech router OS. So again when you use the CPU that's something we normally call it software based routing because it is made by the software. Now when we have the layer 3 hardware offloading then the IP package will not go to the CPU or the Microtech CPU anymore to be processed but will go via the switch chip which is available on some Microtech devices model. So this is also called hardware based routing. So when you see hardware based routing that's layer 3 hardware offloading. When you see software based routing that's CPU. So what happens in this case maybe I can show you here uh, put uh, here a diagram about uh, the uh, uh, CRS354 uh, which has a switch chip. So what normally used to happen you have here the uh, ports and you can see so the traffic coming from one of the ports normally it had to go to the CPU for every packet to be processed and being sent to another port. So what uh, we can do, we can enable the layer 3 hardware offloading using the switch chip which is on this uh, Microtech router. So there is a switch chip there. Then in this case, the routing will be doing or passing via the switch chip, meaning that if there is any traffic coming from this interface, it will be wired and will be sent from another interface without it goes to the CPU. So there is nothing to go to the CPU anymore. And this makes things much easier. And we are talking again here, layer 3 traffic means routing. This makes things very easier on the Microtech router because the traffic are not uh, reaching to the CPU and the CPU doesn't have to do the calculation or the process to allow the traffic to go to another interface. That's something would be made by the switch chip. A switch chip is nothing than like a, it's, a, it's a switch actually, like a chip which makes the, we call it also the wire speed. So to wire all the traffic to go from one interface to another. So that's what uh, the layer 3 hardware offloading, which makes uh, our life much easier. And uh, of course, our Microtech router will like it a lot because it has less uh, um, resources on the Microtech uh, router OS. Now, what are the benefits of the layer 3 hardware offloading? So I'll put them over here. The packets are actuated and processed faster because they are just going to the switch chip. And then that means they are processed faster and uh, the uh, the uh, they are actuated because they don't want to wait for the CPU to do the calculation and to let them go. You are able to handle big bandwidth, especially for ISPs. Sometimes 
Um, some microtegrators, if you, if you connect uh, to some ISPs, you can see that you are not getting the full bandwidth from your ISPs or from your uplinker. And uh, because in case you don't use the layer 3 hardware offloading, this can happen. While with layer 3 hardware offloading, no problem with that. What you get is what you are getting from your uh, uplinker. And um, you can see that you can handle much more bandwidth and uh, your CPU stays very low. It's less resources on the microtech router, so less CPU, less, um, so because it's not going the traffic to the CPU, then you have less CPU. Uh, resources on it, uh, so it, the CPU stays low, you have less memory and so forth. And also, you don't have packet drops because when the CPU is high, then when you have a very high traffic, then the packets start uh, dropping. And that's also another problem that most of ISPs have that when they don't use layer 3 hardware offloading. So once you do hardware offloading, then you get over this problem. So this is uh, the whole explanation that I wanted to explain now about hardware offloading, what it is exactly the layer 3 hardware offloading, because you also have layer 2 hardware offloading. But we in this course, we are focusing on the layer 3 hardware offloading. So this is the, the explanation. Those are the benefits that you have with the layer 3 hardware offloading. Let's now see what are the devices that we can use in order to make the layer 3 hardware offloading. So here I'm on the Microtech uh, website on the help.microtech.com. Uh, you can just write hardware offloading or um, layer 3 hardware offloading or you can just go to the page here you just have uh, bridging and switching layer 3 hardware offloading then you can find somewhere uh, that uh, what are the devices you can support i'm going to leave for you the link anyway with this lecture so as you can see here they mentioned to you what are the devices so the first device is the crx 300 series crs is a cloud routing switching so it makes uh, it's, it's a, a, a router and a switch at the same time so all the uh, devices from uh, our crs 300 uh, they have uh, uh, the switch dx3000 and the dx2000 uh, that's the switch chip they have so here they put for you all the models you can see all of them the rcrs300 so you can see this is the switch switch chip dx and uh, whatever the uh, the number after it so uh, starting the version 7.1 you can do the hardware of loading on layer 3 and here the, they give you some more information like how many IP routes prefix you can have, um, the next hops, uh, the ECMP equal cost multipass, how many ones you can uh, do at the same time on the uh, uh, this router switch. So you can see that it's possible on the uh, series of 300 uh, series uh, from CRS uh, on Microtech. Uh, for this course, I'm going to use also the CRS 300 to do the labs to show you how you can configure the uh, live three hardware offloading. Some other devices that uh, uh, you can also have, there are the uh, CRS 500 series as well. So CRS 500 series, uh, also you can use them for the uh, hardware, uh, live three hardware offloading. So that's the CRS. Of course, there are different models you, that you can choose. It depends what uh, you want. Uh, so some models, they have maybe less interfaces, some they have more, some they have uh, bigger CPU, some smaller. So that's something you have to check one once you want, decide that you want to buy a Microtech router as. Um, so here you can see that the CRS 500 series is starting somewhere from 7.3 diversion to use the layer 3 hardware offloading. Anyway, we are now on a much higher version, I think 7.14 or 15 from the time that I'm recording this course. So always update your router as to the latest version and be sure that then in this case that you can use the layer 3 hardware offloading. The other thing that also uh, you can use on it or other devices you can use on them, the layer 3 hardware offloading is the CCR uh, series, which is the 2000. So CCR is uh, uh, the uh, cloud core router. So it's a router is not really anymore a router switch and you can see that uh, you have the series which is 2100 and 2200 so then you can use this router to be able to do the layer 3 hardware offloaded so please again if you decide that you want to use layer 3 hardware offloading then be sure that you are buying the right equipment which has this feature enabled because 
the legacy hardware offloading doesn't work on all MicroTik router OS devices. So this is all what I wanted to explain in this uh, first lecture. So now we know uh, the benefit and what is exactly the legacy hardware offloading and how, how it works. So uh, then uh, we know that and also we know which hardware we need to buy in case we want to use the legacy hardware offloading. So this is all what I wanted to show you in this lecture. I hope it was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.